I wasn't always like this, you know. I think when I was born, I was like any other kid. I mean, I must have been right. How else would I have gotten old this way and still be alive? I'm not really sure why it happened to me. Because I don't think there is any good reason it should have happened to me. And not someone else. Yeah, it's a mystery. I'm just a strange anomaly, I guess. My name's Horace, and I'm invisible. My powers didn't really manifest until I was about five or six. Not until I figured out it was me and not someone else. Not until I could sleep in my own bed and dream my own dreams. It wasn't an overnight kind of thing. It's not like I woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and I was gone. It was more of a gradual process over time. It's like it just kind of slowly faded away from people's eyes. I'm not positive about the science involved. But I think it might be that all my atoms vibrate at some weird subatomic frequency, which the normal human eye just can't process. Kind of like the blades on a helicopter, maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Having superpowers is not all it's cracked up to be, you know. It's nothing like what you see in the movies. No. If it were a movie, I'd probably be the hero and the villain rolled up in one. There'd be no happy endings. Just a perpetually looping end scene of me eating myself, probably. Kind of like a double-edged sword. With every positive aspect, there's definitely an equal negative aspect that goes along with it. Yeah, being invisible, you seem to be able to do all the heroic, altruistic stuff without being noticed in the slightest. But then on the flip side, you seem to get blamed for all the bad stuff that happens around the place, even when you didn't even do it which gets annoying sometimes. But what can you do, right? Oh, Horace! It's
It's kind of funny. You often hear people say, Oh, I'd love to be the fly on the wall. Well, I'm the consummate fly on the wall, I guess. I can see things no one else sees. I can stare into people's shadows. I can see all their dreams, all their fantasies, and all their demons. But then those demons, man, they can stare right back into me. So many gnarled, pockmarked demons all around staring at me all the time. Yeah, freaks me right out sometimes. So I try not to look too deep, because deep down, I kind of know the darkest, ugliest, scariest demon inside everyone is a mirror. I'm just like every superhero. I have some vulnerabilities. My powers seem to be rendered useless on blind people. No matter how hard I try not to be seen, they always seem to know I'm there. So when I need to talk to someone, when I need a bit of a break from hero stuff, I wish for a blind person to come along and see me. It doesn't happen much though. You will. Kino. That's good. I've not got you know. It's not me, Kino. Were you just mocking me, mocking me? Yeah, I was. So I'm not sure if you were mocking me. Yes! I'm still like confused if you were. Oh, yes, I will! Oh, I get that! Someone asked me once if I could have my time over, knowing what I know now, would I choose it all again? Hell yes, it's a goddamn superpower.